tend to be one up here once in a while. Let's see what we got going here. So how are we all doing today? Good, 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 good. So let's take a look at the screen. What is on the screen? Who said that? A cocoon. A cocoon. Very good. Boy, you looked at me like like, like, like you're on Jeopardy, you're just kind of guessing like that, you know, double Jeopardy thing, you just bet all your, anyway. So, so some time ago, that caterpillar was crawling along the ground and felt to need to find a safe space. He then began spinning his cocoon around him. Now, if we weren't open up that cocoon, we would not see what looks like a living creature, but a lifeless little blob. It would lie in there motionless as though it were dead. Ooh, kind of a vision, isn't it? But what's happening is one of the miracles of God's creations. A process called metamorphosis is taking place. I know metamorphosis, that's one of those long, big, fancy words that I kind of use sometimes. But do you know what metamorphosis just means? I, I noticed, oh wait, are you seeing my nose through my glasses? Yes? Oh, you're really good, yes. That is exactly what it means. I'm going to have to ask you later how you do that. It means a change. A change has taken place with that um, cocoon up there. When the springtime comes, that cocoon will break open and out will come a, what will come out of that uh, cocoon? Butterfly. butterfly. Now, I know you're not seeing my nose because if you were, you would say a beautiful butterfly. But yeah, you're right, a butterfly. What looked like something dead before has actually come to life in a far more beautiful form than before. Now, when a Christian dies, it is similar to what happens to the butterfly, except it's far better and more amazing. It seems like the body of a person lying in a casket is dead and can't move or think or talk. And, you know, the body can't. Okay, we know that. But the real person in that body, the soul, is already alive and with Jesus in heaven. He is living the beautiful things in the heaven and is especially enjoying a wonderful relationship with God. Now, someday when Jesus comes back to earth, <coughs> he will transform that person's body and all other Christians' bodies into a beautiful new resurrection of bodies. We will be far more beautiful than that butterfly that will come out of there. We will have a new resurrection body just like Jesus did when he was raised from the dead. So just remember that when a Christian dies, it's a little like the caterpillar going into a cocoon. But at the same time, God performs a miracle of having new life coming out of that seemingly lifeless cocoon will also give new life to the Christian who has died. For the person who loves Jesus, death is not the end, but just the beginning of a marvelous new life in his presence. And you know, that brings us to our memory verse for, what is this, April coming up. Who would like to read a memory verse? Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He, will, he who believes in me, I will even though that he dies. He, he who believes in me will, I, I, will live. 
even though he dies. John 11, 25. John 11, 25. Very good. That was wonderfully done. Yay. There you go. Okay, let's pray. Lord God, you love this world so much that you gave your one and only son that we might be called your children too. Lord, help us to live in the gladness of grace of Easter Sunday every day. Let us have hearts of thankfulness for your sacrifice. Let us have eyes that look upon your grace and rejoice in our salvation. Help us to walk in that mighty grace and tell your good news to the world. And for your glory do we pray and all the God's children say, Amen. And you may not trample down Pastor Jim as you make your way back to the seat. <laughs>